You know it's almost like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. On today's package from China, we are going to do an unboxing of this Chromecast lookalike plug and play game system with 200 games built inside. All right, so let's take a close look in the box what we're going to get because I didn't even try it before making this video. Yeah, because I wanted to do this unboxing and gameplay together. It comes with this USB cable. Is this micro USB? Yes, it is. All right, quick explanation. It seems to be this thing has HDMI and you plug it, you plug it into your port. The device or the game system is inside the dongle. It gets the juice from a USB port in your television. If you don't have a spare USB port, you're going to, need, going to need to use a 5 volt, let's say, phone charger for extra power. All right, so this is what we're going to get. It comes with this, well, let's say, not very big dongle. Here we have the micro USB port. There is no SD slot, so in other words, what you see is what you're going to get. So if these things have crappy games, we have a crappy system. All right, so let's see what we have here. The controls itself are very clunky. Oh! You can even hear it on the other side of the microphone because the microphone is pointed at me. But if you look at this menu, what does it says? S-U-R-E, what does that mean? I'm guessing going back to the main menu. Yeah, whatever. It's not, uh, yeah, whatever. Right, so at the back we're finding the on and off switch. Here we can put in the batteries. We're going to need AAA batteries, two of them. And uh, so let's grab some batteries. Let's grab the dongle and let's see how this works. All right, so booted up the system. Comes with a happy tune, happy menu, and a pair of horrible controllers. Yeah, so still don't know if this works. Yes, yeah, so the button they added here is basically for muting the game. Yeah. All right, so the controls are horrible. But it does work. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing, F22, uh, these games you can be found, a lot of the mini arcade machine. So this thing is filled up with homebrew games. I like F22, don't get me wrong. All right, so we're having 200 games. But still, are all of these why does it look familiar? Happy Angel. So funny thing is that you're using different names, but I'm getting this idea that these things contain real games or are they just makeovers of real games? Because this thing looks like Contra. So we shall we start play and just see what is going on with this thing. Let's start with F22. It's running really slow. It's running really slow and really choppy. So for people who don't familiar with it, it's just basic shoot 'em up. The stages are freaking long. Sometimes it feels there is no ending to it. And this is the only thing you do. You just shoot things and grab some power ups. And if you get hit, you lose your power up. And if you hit a couple of times, you just die. Keep it. Sounds bad. Feels bad, but it is responding and very responsive. Right, can I go back to the main menu with the... No, no. Is there a way of going back? So, is there even a way to go back in this thing or what? I'm guessing you need to reboot or what? Can I go... How can you mess this up? Oh, people, they can mess it up. There. Ah, figure it out. Need to press the select and start button and hold it for a couple of seconds. Mm, mm, mm. Eris. Let's see, what is Eris? Does it look like an homebrew game? Yeah, okay. They ripped off original game so this was the captain america game because this guy shows you yep it's the captain america game so what they did is more naughty than it can be besides they are just ripping off original games no it can get more naughty than this that's it
Can I grab this? Yes, I can. Oh, there's power up. Let's go back. Let's see if we can find a game that looks like a familiar game. The Fear. No, they didn't. You have the Street Fighter 1 or 2 for the NES that is pre I think is pretty funny, but it is basically very horrible. And they ripped it off. So they ripped off a homebrew game. I have never seen this before. And now how does it look? Here he is! Yep. Does it look like Ryu? Yeah, it's Ryu. Oh, they called it Chun-Li Ryu! So they didn't swap that part out. You just remove the title screen. Alright, let's see. Well, I have more. I think this is a Ch Chippendale game. Let's see how they call it. Did he call it Chippendale? <laughs> Elf legend. <laughs> John and Pika. Let's be choose Pika. She must understand. So this is just the Chip and Gill game and <laughs> they did some redesigning of the characters but the game itself is exactly the same. I must say I've never seen a product like this that had so many knockoff games. Alright, next one. Why do I get the feeling Overlord is Double Dragon? No, I think this is something else. Boxing Circle. So I'm guessing this is not... Yeah, can we play the game or... Maybe you know what kind of game this is because I don't know all the 8-bit games, but... So the fun fact is that even if they're a <laughs> rip-off from original games, it's funny that they put them on here. Let's see, what do we have more? What did they rip off more? Uh, this is Adventure Island. Yes, this is Adventure Island. Yes, let's try Adventure Island. <laughs> With a tank. I don't know if these games can be downloaded, but or they have ROMs for it, but did they redesign all of these games? It will be a crazy, crazy job. I just throw wrenches, alright. Side hammers. Normally these throw hammers. Okay, let's see what we have more. Uh, there are just homebrew games. The pizza, pizza boy th game, horrible. So if you look at the games, yeah, this is what you're going to get. Oh, Plants vs. Zombie is pretty cool, by the way. Yeah, the sound is horrible, but this game is really fun to play. Is it yeah, it's the Plants vs. Zombie, you know, of the tablets and other systems. How can I choose? Oh. Alright, let's go back. Bolt action. Tetris. So they are not all ripoffs. What is Ghost Castle? Hmm. Fruit gift. <laughs> Island. Pizza boy. Oh no, no, people. The pizza boy is over here. Pong pong. Let's play pong pong. Pong pong. Alright. Water pipe, yeah, all the familiar games. 
Now we're going to get double games. This is burger, burger time. So they managed to squeeze some original games on them. All right. All right, so this is the full list, 200 games. Oh, did they? Oh, they didn't even put the effort of, 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 of renaming Mappy. They just got old Mappy. I think they were at the end of the list think, thinking, oh, no, no, we're not going. No, we're not going to remap him. Just, just be naughty. Silent Hondo, yes? Yeah, whatever. I didn't play the Vice from a friend from China. So for the people who didn't know, I already did a review or a similar review about a product like this. Only this one. This other product was not bad at all. It was naughty, but it was not bad. So this is what you're going to get with this product. Uh, I'm just going to be on. I had this idea. It was going to be bad. But this bad? No. I didn't know that it was going to be this bad. So there are some good games on this device, but the only problem I have with this plug and play is that it has very horrible controls. So let me know what you think of this. I want to thank you for watching.